Assalamu alaikum, I am Amri Faisla Ahmed, ADO150294. In these videos, I would like to discuss about application of Nozzle and Diffuser. Okay, let's start. First, I want to say what is Nozzle. A Nozzle is obtain a pipe or tube of bearing cross-sectional area and it can be used to direct or modify the flow of fluid like liquid or gas. Nozzles are frequently used to control the rate of flow, speed, direction, mass. Now, the uh, next, uh, what is diffuser? A diffuser is a device which slow down plate application. Nozzles and diffusers are commonly utilized in jet engine, rockets, and space cap. To deliver both connecting and ventilating air, every distribute the flow of air in the desired direction. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Nurul Salatu Amanda Minti Azmi. My metric number is DD160005. Okay, uh, for for my for my project for my group assignment, okay, uh, we are going to talk about the nozzles and diffuser. Okay, for my part, uh, I'm going to I'm going to talk about the definition of the nozzle, the function of nozzles. Okay, okay. Uh, first of all, what is a nozzle? Okay, nozzle functioning as altering and controlling the stream or spray pattern of fluid in a spraying, dispensing, and misting or atomizing system. A nozzle for more specific is uh, a device that has been designed to control the directions or characteristics of a fluid flow, especially uh, to increase velocity as it exit or enter an enclosed chamber or pipe or tube of wiring uh, cross-section area and it can be used to direct or modify uh, the flow of a fluid whether it's liquid or gas. Okay, the basic function of pressure nozzles is to convert the pressure energy supply by the high pressure pump into the kinetic, mm, kinetic energy in form of a thin film, the stability of which is determined by the properties of the liquid such as viscosity, uh, surface tensions, uh, density, and quality per unit of time, and by the medium into which the liquid is sprayed. Okay, um, this is the, this is the uh, nozzle. Okay. okay, as you can see, this is the inlet and this is the outlet. Okay, this is the inlet, this is nozzle, this is inlet and this is outlet. Okay, the velocity of nozzle uh, is depends upon the ending point diameter of nozzle. Okay, which means is that when an ending point of diameter of nozzle is less than the velocity of fluid is more. Okay, uh, the inlet pressure of pipe is more than the outer pressure and velocity is then the outer pressure also okay and as you know uh, the the nozzle is in the first law of thermodynamics so when we talk about the first law of the thermodynamics so there is no work is involved in nozzle okay and me uh, from this equation this is the equation that we use in nozzle Okay, so this is the equation. Yeah, we use. Okay, so when there is no work is involved, so the work done is equal to zero. Okay, and the change of potential energy of fluid uh, flowing into uh, into and out of nozzle is negligible because of almost no height change. So when there is no height change. This is there's no height change, so uh, the nozzle are also regarded as steady flow engineering device. So the term at the right hand 
side is equal, is equal to 0. So this is all the equal to 0, okay? As you can see. That's all for me. Thank you. My name is Mama Irfan Rosman. I will introduce about diffuser. As we know, diffuser is used at engine, jet, and whatever. This is uh, the picture of diffuser. We see here the diffuser have flow of fluid intake part of in and out from the diffusion. At the in 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 part of the diffusion, velocity is is high, and then the out part of the diffusion velocity is low. We see here velocity at out part is very small between velocity in part of diffusion and here pressure is high and then at here pressure is is low is uh, low diffusion we we used to to slow down the velocity from the height to the slow the low velocity and here involve very high velocity when involve very high velocity there is no heat, tran heat transfer take part at diffuser device at the same time no work happen here in diffuser device no potential energy but got kinetic energy i hope all of guys can understand what i introduce and explain about it thank you very much Okay, the question number one is uh, nozzle. Okay, the question is water vapor enter a nozzle at 400 degrees Celsius and 800 kPa with a velocity of 10 ms and it leaves at 300 degrees Celsius and 200 kPa while losing heat at rate of 24 kg per second. For an inlet area of 800 cm square, determine the velocity and the volume flow rate of the steam at the nozzle exit. Assalamualaikum, my name is Runa Bila. Today I would like to show you the solution and the example for nozzle. Okay, today I have the questions. Uh, it's a steam and this is the nozzle. So I have the inlet and this is the outlet. Okay, and I know the temperature is 400, velocity 10 ms, uh, pressure 800, uh, inlet area 800 cm square. So I convert, I get 0 0.08 meter. So this is the outlet. The outlet I get a uh, temperature 300, P2 200, and for the Q I got 24 kg per S. So I make the assumptions that uh, it is steady flow process since uh, there is no change with the time, and then I uh, I assume that there is no work because uh, there is no work interruptions, and then uh, E equal to zero because uh, there is no potential energy, so I can neglect. So from these uh, uh, equations, I get E in uh, minus E out equals to total E system. So I got this uh, equation. So I simplify mm dot. I put uh, at the bottom here. So and then I refer table A6 uh, from the temperature and the pressure it gives. So I got V1 0.38429, H1 3267.7. And for P2 and T2, so I get V2 1.31623 and H2 3072.1. So uh, to find M dot, so I find uh, use this formula A1 V1 equal uh, divided by V1. So 
A1 which is the inlet area and B1 is the velocity here so divide by the value I get from B1 T1 so 0 0.38429 so uh, I get 2.082 so substitute all this um, value into the equations equation here so substitute the value then I get 606ms for B2 and then it asks for volumetric flow rate so which is B dot B dot 2 uh, equals to M dot B squared I use this formula so I, I substitute all this um, value and I get 2.74 meter cube per S so that's it the solution thank you question for diffuser atmospheric air at negative 45 degrees Celsius 60 kilopascal enters the front diffuser of a engine jet with a velocity of 900 km per hour and the frontal area of 1 meter square. After the adiabatic diffuser, the velocity is 20 meter per second. Find the diffuser exit temperature and the maximum pressure possible. I will explain about the solution of the problem of the user. Okay, first, we state that uh, pressure inlet is 60 kPa, the pressure inlet is negative 45, the is 228 Kelvin, velocity uh, 100 km per hour, and the area of the uh, inlet is 1 meter square. And the velocity outlet is 20 meter per second. Question asks to find the temperature outlet and the pressure outlet. Okay, to solve this question, we need to use uh, this assumption. This, this is a steady flow process. The air used in this uh, question is an ideal gas. Potential energy is equal to zero single inlet and single outlet which means M dot inlet is equal to M dot outlet okay. to find the temperature outlet we need to use the energy equation energy dot in is equal to energy dot out by cancelling the M dot at the both side we get this we reach this H2 minus H1 we can convert to CP T2 minus T1 and the CP you can get from the table A2 we get the CP from the table A2 and we substitute in the equation we get the T2 is 258.9 Kelvin or negative 14.1 degree Celsius and for the pressure outlet we use this relationship is a show that is P2 over T1 is equal to T2 divided by T1 to the power K divided by K minus 1 the K we can get from the table A2 that is 1.4 for the air and uh, 32 A we can get the pressure outlet is 93.61 kPa that's all Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, my name is Kuala Mahmoud Ibrahim AD 140043 uh, for discussion, our group concluded that uh, we have found that new nozzle and diffuser has their own function. Uh, for nozzle, the function for nozzle is increasing the pressure energy. Some of the application that use nozzle is such as chest and rockets. Chest and rocket using nozzle. Uh, uh, using thrust as nozzle to increase their acceleration. For diffuser, the function is the opposite way of nozzle, which is uh, decreasing the pressure energy. Chess um, and rocket also using use diffuser to decrease their acceleration when they are going down to it. Uh, I think that's all from us. Thank you.